Hello there, Eagles. I have a bonus story time for you this week. This was a book that I was planning to read in our Zoom meeting for Wednesday, but it's really too long, and this is just perfect to record it for you. It's a really fun book, though. It's actually not that long. It's just a little long for our Zoom meeting, and I particularly love this book because it relates to our community theme because it shows about some very important workers in our community, and it's full of rhymes, which I know you guys really enjoy. So this is Seven Little Postmen, and it is written by Margaret Weiss Brown. She is the author who wrote Good Night Moon, which I'm sure all of you have read. And this book was also written by someone else who I'm not as familiar with. Um, her name is Edith Thatcher Hurd, Ford, Hurd. Um, I'm not as familiar with that author. Here we go. Seven Little Postmen. A boy had a secret. It was a surprise. He wanted to tell his grandmother, so he sent his secret through the mail. The story of that letter is the reason for this tale of the seven little postmen who carried the mail. Because there was a secret in the letter, the boy sealed it with red sealing wax. If anyone broke the seal, the secret would be out. He slipped the letter into the mailbox. The first little postman took it from the box, put it in his bag, and walked 17 blocks to a big post office, all built of rocks. The letter with the secret was dumped on a table big and small letters that all needed the label of the big post office. Stamp, stamp, clickety click, the machinery ran with a quick sharp tick. The letter with the secret is stamped at last and the round black circle tells that it passed through the canceling machine. Click, whiz, fast. Big letters, small letters, thin and tall, the second little postman sorts them all. The letters are sorted from east to west and north to south. That means they sort them according to which direction they are headed. And this letter had best go west, said the second little postman, scratching his chest into the pouch. Lock it tight. The secret letter must travel all night. The third little postman in the big mail car comes to a crossroad where waiting are a green, a yellow, and a purple car. They all stop there. There is nothing to say. The mail truck has the right of way. The mail must go through. Up and away through sleet and hail, the airplane carries the fastest mail. The pilot flies through the whirling snow as fast and as fast as the plane can go. The mail is landed for the evening train. Now hang the pouch on the big hook crane. The engine speeds up the shining rails and the fourth little postman grabs the mail with a giant hook. So right here, this is a bag of the mail. And here's the postman with a big giant hook. And as the train goes by, it's not even gonna stop. He is going to grab the bag. Amazing, huh? The train roars on with a puff and a snort. And the fourth little postman begins, begins to sort. Right on the train, they have a whole sorting room. The train carries the letter through gloom of night and a mail car filled with an electric light to a country postman by a country road where the fifth little postman is waiting for his load. The mail clerk heaves the mail pouch with all his might to the fifth little postman who grabs it tight. Then off he goes along the lane and over the hill until he comes to a little town that is very small. So very small, the post office there is hardly one at all. It's this little building here with the flag on it. 
Maybe we'll pay this seems to live next door to the post office. The six little postman in great big boots sorts the letters for their various routes. Some down the river, some over the hill, but the secret letter goes further still. The seventh little postman on RFD carries letters and papers, chickens and fruit to the people who live along his route. There were parts for a tractor and a wig for an actor and a funny postcard for a little boy playing in his own backyard. Oh, that's quite a postcard. There's something for Sally and something for Sam and something for Mrs. Potter who's busy making jam. There were dozens of chickens for Mrs. Pickens and a dress for a party for Mrs. McCarty. Last, the last house along the way sat the grandmother of the boy who had sent the letter with the secret in it. She had been wishing all day he would come to visit where she lived all alone in a tiny house and sometimes felt quite lonely. The postman blew his whips, whistle and gave her the letter with the red sealing wax on it, the secret letter. Six alive, what is it about? Six alive, the secret is out. What does it say? Dearest Granny, I am writing to say that I am coming to visit on Saturday. My cat has seven kittens and I am bringing one for you, your own very own kitten. The postman is my friend, your grandson, Thomas. But end. I hope you enjoyed that story. So your challenge for today is to write a letter, draw a picture, you can add words if you like, to either a friend or you can think of a community worker. I know that we did an earlier challenge that had to do with thanking a community worker. So this is one you have an option. Not writing a letter, but you could write to whoever you wish. Find out the address. And grown up can help you write the address, and it's very important. Put a stamp on the letter, and then you're going to walk to a mailbox and put it in the mailbox. And where do you think your letter will go before it arrives to whoever you sent it to? Do you think it will go on an airplane, or a train, or a boat, or all of them? What do you think? I'll see you next time, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>